Hey, hey, hey everyone, I'm Rosie with K15T and welcome back to our Confluence Beginner Guide, where you'll learn Confluence from start to finish. Last time, we talked about using elements and macros. So what's next? Today, we're talking templates, what they are, how to use them, and how to create them. So let's jump right into it. A template in Confluence is exactly what you might think it is. It's a pre-designed page layout to help you create new pages quickly and consistently. It's perfect for when you need to whip up some meeting notes, project plans, or documentation on a whim. If you find that your team isn't using a consistent framework for these kinds of pages, then the various formatting for the same type of content can make it difficult for your readers to find what they need. It's also time consuming for you as an author to constantly create routine pages just from scratch. So this is where templates come in. So to start using a template, it's pretty simple. The first way we can do it is just by going up to this templates button right here, and it'll take us to the template library built in in Confluence. So you can see here in the template library, it gives you an overview of all these available templates and you can really go on and on. It'll just keep loading them. Um, but I'm gonna say, I wanna go ahead and choose the meeting notes template and it'll go ahead and give you a little preview of what the page will look like over here. And then you can just hit use template and it'll start to create a page for you. Um, it'll go ahead and put the date up here automatically, which let's just keep it, why not? And it already has all these things. Um, all this text right here is just kind of like a filler text that disappears. So you can only see that in the editor. You don't see that if the page is published. So as a reader, I wouldn't see this text right here. Another way you can start with a template is simply by going to your content tree and hitting the create button and hitting page. And then in this new page that it opens up, you have this little pop up down here and it'll start already suggesting templates for you. And then you can just go to all templates and it'll give you this little template library on the side over here. As you can see, you can also star templates. So I already have a few that are starred that we just use on a regular basis. Uh, so I don't need to search them every time. If you can't find a template in the template library that aligns with your needs, then you can go ahead and head to the Atlassian Marketplace to see if there's an app that makes a template that would fit your needs. So when you're in the Atlassian Marketplace and you wanna search for more templates, go ahead and filter it so it's only showing for Confluence Cloud, which is the Confluence that we're using. And then I'm also going to filter it so it's only showing apps for Confluence as well. And then I will go to the top here and search templates. And then you can see all sorts of apps that will offer you more templates that you can download for Confluence and maybe one of these will align with your needs. If not, you can also create your own template. Not every Confluence user can create templates, but every Confluence user can create a page from a template. Only space admins can create and edit templates for their space and Confluence site admins can create templates for the entire Confluence site. Let's examine how to do this. To make a template that will exclusively be in the space that you make it in, then we're gonna head over to the space settings in the sidebar right here. Then we'll go down to look and feel and we'll hit on this templates button right here. Once we're here, we'll just hit create new template and we'll go ahead and get started designing whatever type of template that we want. And you'll recognize this is the same editor that you use to create pages that we've seen in the last few videos. In the case that you want to create a template for your entire organization and not just for one space, you'll need to be the site admin, and this can be done within the admin settings up here. You'll go to the Confluence administration, and then you'll go over here on the left to configuration, and then within that, you're gonna hit global templates and blueprints. And then you'll just hit this big blue button, add global page template, and you'll be brought to the same editor as before. When you're making a template, something super useful is placeholder text, which is exactly what we see here. To add it, we can go to the menu over here or we can hit the forward slash and we'll just go to placeholder text. And this will just add little instructions or kind of prompt for people to know what to type on your page. This is just how to get started creating a template, but to learn all the best practices, go ahead and check out our full video on how to make great templates in Confluence, which we'll link in the description for you. Do you wanna make it super easy for your teammates to create a page from a template with just the click of a button? This is exactly where the create from template macro comes in. So let's say you have a strategy workshop page where you're asking people to give their ideas. However, you don't want every idea submission to be structured differently and you want them to all have the same format. This is super easy by just using the create from template macro, which we'll add to the page. So to do that, we'll go ahead and hit the forward slash and hit the create from template button right here. 
Then we can choose the button title that we want for people to submit their idea. Submit your idea. And then we can pick a template that we want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the brainstorming one. And then the title of the page to be created, I will do idea submission number. And then the person who is making that idea submission can add the number one, two, three, and their idea name in that title. Then I will go ahead and hit save. And then I will update my page. So now I'm not in the editor mode anymore, so I'm just seeing this page as a reader would. And if I hover over the submit your idea button, it'll show me the template that it would start to open up. And if I hit that, it'll take me right to it. I can say idea submission number one, two, three, four, and then start filling out my idea. And then every idea submission looks the same, which just streamlines the process for the person who's looking over them. To take this even further, there's the Create From Template Pro Macro, which is a free app that we offer on the marketplace. This one will give more advanced options such as setting a parent page, adding custom variables, and button formatting options. If you're not sure what template you should use or why you should be using templates in the first place, go ahead and check out our best practice article, which we'll link in the description for you. That's a wrap on this video. You've learned what Confluence templates are, who can create them, and how to use them in your daily workflow. In our next tutorial, we'll be talking about the collaboration basics within Confluence to take you one step even further. Until then, feel free to let us know how you feel about Confluence so far by leaving a comment down below. And of course, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can keep helping you and you can focus on what you do best. Thanks for watching.